We've already told you about the myths of Omar Khadr. He was not a child soldier. He was not a child. He was just a few weeks shy of his 16th birthday when he murdered an army medic called Christopher Speer. That's not a child. Under the UN Convention of the Rights of a Child, a child is someone 14 or under. He wasn't a soldier either. Under the Geneva Conventions, he did not meet the definition of a soldier. He was a terrorist or an unlawful combatant, as the lawyers say. We've also talked to you about his unrepentant behavior. He has never renounced al-Qaeda or renounced his terrorist father. We've talked about the media love him. But one thing we have not talked about yet is Omar Khadr's future. Where will he go when he is finally released? Even if the federal government wins their appeal and uh, Cotter is not paroled right now, he will be released at some time. Will he go back into the embrace of his former family, his family, his mother and his sister? Here's a reminder of what they're like. Why does nobody say you killed three of his friends? Why does everybody say he killed an American soldier? Big deal. Yeah, I am not sure that even our crazy left-wing court systems and parole boards would put Omar Khadr back in the company of those pro-Al-Qaeda pro, uh, propagandists. But what about the lawyer Dennis Edney, one of Omar Khadr's most passionate and enthusiastic lawyers who has offered for Omar Khadr to live with him? I think it's fairly likely that that outcome will happen. Well, what does that mean? I think that means it's probably less likely that Omar Khadr would actually murder anyone or throw a grenade or shoot anyone, but far more likely that he would be a sophisticated propagandist, like Dennis Edney himself. Dennis Edney is a lawyer, but I think the most dangerous place in Canada, non-violently speaking, of course, is between Dennis Edney and a microphone. There is no opportunity he misses to disparage our country's military or security or intelligence establishment. He is clearly against our side in the war on terror. He is a perpetual advocate against things like Bill C-51, the anti-terrorism bill. So if you put Omar Khadr into the home of Dennis Edney, well, you have a rock star touring act in the making, the talent and the manager. I have no doubt that Omar Khadr would be a puppet that would, who would articulate lines given to him by Dennis Edney. In fact, I think there's evidence that sort of thing is happening already. Remember that the Ottawa Citizen published a disgusting op-ed by Omar Khadr arguing against Canada's anti-terrorism laws. It's absurd that the Ottawa Citizen would let a convicted terrorist have space in their newspaper at all, let alone to criticize our anti-terrorism laws let alone to do so on the day of the funeral of Corporal Nathan Cirillo, murdered by Islamic terrorists, let alone to do all of this without mentioning that uh, Cotter himself was a terrorist. But if you read that op-ed in The Ottawa Citizen, you can tell it was clearly not written by Omar Cotter. It was written by someone surely a fancy lawyer, maybe Edney himself. My point is, many propagandists of the West have been using Omar Cotter for their political purposes for a decade. And now, Cotter is likely to wind up in the home of one such cheap, chief propagandist himself. Will there be any doubt that Omar Cotter will go on tour, a speaking tour? He will write a book, surely ghostwrited by someone else. That he will be a pundit on panels, that he will write many more essays, that he will go from mosque to mosque. NDP convention to NDP convention, United Church basement to United Church basement, propagandizing against the West, all under the happy, watchful eye of Dennis Edney. I don't think Omar Khadr is salvageable. I think he is a dyed-in-the-wool jihadist who wants to kill us all. But I think in the hands of Dennis Edney, he will be something even more deadly, a propagandist, who will be a puppet on the hand of one of Canada's most ardent enemies of our war against terrorism. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.